On this episode of Doing the Most, we're gonna taste some brews on Miracle Berries. Mm. Mr. Man Made Mead, have you ever had a Miracle Berry? I've only recently heard about them. Mm. And it was a little bit of a bit uh, regarding my challenge that I'm doing with my, some of my Discord members and, and stuff for the Ultimate Mead Maker. They talked about throwing them into a brew uh -huh, uh -huh. to strategically to mess with, mess you. with me. Gotcha. And that's where I heard about them. Well, these were probably about 15 years ago is when these really were like viral, so to speak. And basically it's, it's this berry that produces a compound they call, I believe it's pronounced miraculin, but it changes the shape of your taste buds. So it changes oh. how flavors work in your mouth. First thing I would like to do before we, before we do the actual berries is I think we should quick just pour some samples of everything and get an understanding for how it tastes before we screw up our palates. Okay. Does that feel right? Let's do it. Escaping. Quick. Cheap trad, cheap honey. Traditional. Let's go. And we'll, we'll need to kind of keep these in order as okay. we go. Okay. Cheap trad. Cheap trad. <laughs> What? Good shirt. <laughs> what is that? What kind of honey is that? Um, cheap Sam's honey. It's like the, mm. uh, whatever crap I got there. This is, uh, what are we in? Passion, Passion fruit, fruit. Dragon fruit. Tropical honey. Tropical honey. It's also tratty, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this one, you know, as it sat open and breathed, a little bit more of that tropical fruit flavor has kind of come yeah. out of it. Especially when you compare it to an actual trad. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. It's just, it tastes like a traditional with uh, just a little bit of tropical flair. So you've had this one before. This is my, uh, we did a Mead Stampede holiday party. Hey, and this spice. is the, yeah, the cinnamon and spice uh, and holiday nice. mead. We're keeping, you're keeping yours in order, yeah? I am. Okay, great. Because they're all kind of the same color. <laughs> yours has a little more orange. 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 Oh, that like spice is there. Oklahoma way of saying it. Oh yeah, woo! That's that a, smells like that's Christmas. A spicy boy. <laughs> that smells like Christmas. That smells great. Mmm. I'm gonna send this off to competition. Yo, let's. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah. That is. That's, that's good. Freaking good. That's very good. Mm. I prefer it not mold. Okay. Last thing from the the setup up here, and then we'll get to. I, got, I brought a little. I brought, brought a little grab bag. A little mystery bag. Well, green, mean green fight machine. Yeah, wait, you, you've never you've never seen a wine this color? Here, let me hold it in front of your shirt there. Yeah, I think There's some it. people have peed that color before. <laughs> you might want to see your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And then this, so somebody sent me these corks and they are awful. Synthetic gang, let's go. I have like 10 of them left and I've been using them basically as temporary corks because they just, these are like actual like punched corks too. These oh. aren't like com composite or whatever, and they suck. Look how much that is just wrecked. This is Skeeter P. Green? Green Skeeter P? So my, some my pee joke was <laughs> on it, point. It was. It, there's there's some uh, lemon lime Kool-Aid added to that Skeeter P. As one does. You know, summertime. Woo, that smells like lemon lime and Kool-Aid. <laughs> Mmm. With a big old punch to the... Yeah, and this wasn't fully back sweetened either. Like, so. Okay. Actually, pulling off this bottle made the space for me to be able to back sweeten it. <laughs> this is your dry version. Yeah, so it's tart, lemony. Mm -hmm. Pretty smooth, though. This is about a year That's old. Good. Yeah. So, it's had some good age on it. Yep. So, I, you know, these are all kind of traditional things that, that you you would make as a, as a home brewer. And so I, I went by... Uh, Local liquor store today. Picked up a couple other things. Uh, I felt like maybe we should try some superstition. All right. All Doom right. Bloom, you got superstition? Uh, you must have gone to Freeman's. I did go to Freeman's. <laughs> Prickly pear. And then just to make sure that we were really taking this to the logical extreme. Shrams? Ah. Oh. No, I got some Baja <laughs> Blast <laughs> Mountain Dew Hard Seltzer. Let's go. <laughs> Yummy. I thought that said 21%. That says 21 over. I thought it was, like, I was like, man. I paid for this. Dude. 
You know, there are people making this stuff at home nowadays. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is a real popular choice. A bunch, <laughs> bunch of mean makers. That's funky. Kind of funky. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit of a farmhouse wow. twang to that. And a farmhouse taste. That's yeah, got that's, some... Whew, that's got some funk. Woohoo! What's going on there? Okay, interesting. Maybe I got a bad can. Hmm. Interesting. All right, have you ever had a Baja Blast? I have had a Baja Dew? Blast. I don't drink Mountain Dew, do you? Mm-mm. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you, don't, you don't pound a 12 ounce before you go out on a run? Yeah, man. That's, <laughs> Look at that color. Look at that. It's like we blended your Skeeter pee with some of this trad. Yeah. We arrived at the same point. Okay. <laughs> it smells like Mountain Dew, I w and I wasn't prepared for that. I don't know why. It's, it says Mountain Dew on the can. I mean, they got their science down. Let's be real. There's Those scientists over at Mountain Dew Incorporated are... Ew. It's got that classic, like, kind of sideways fermented flavor. Yeah. I think this is probably not meant to be drunk warm te uh, room temperature, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, there's something... There is something there. Off about that. Okay. Okay, so all in all, relatively decent stuff here. Nothing bad. Uh, and it all tastes like how we would expect it to taste, right? Right. So. Let's mess it up. You know, miracle <laughs> berries are hard to come by in their, in their like regular state. So fortunately, there are some amazing scientists out there who figure out how to like freeze dry mm. powder them and turn them into tablets. What so, do people use these for? Just to change fun. their, just, yeah, just, just to mess fun. with themselves? Just to, to, you know, back when I was in college, this was like a thing people would do for parties. Like oh. they would potluck it. They'd say, bring something, anything, doesn't matter what yeah. it is. And then they would all, you know, take some Miracle Berry tablets and then just try through all the weird stuff. People eating a bunch of like, you know, raw lemons and olives and stuff like that. So what I remember from that time period is you really need to double up, but use your tongue to spread it all over your palate. And you really want to like push the the powder into your tongue. Don't really, just really get it in there. You do. You, you don't, don't want to, I mean, you don't want to waste it, right? <laughs> right? So don't, don't just like chew it up and swallow it. Like you're taking a pill. All you right. really want to spread it around. And this is going to take about 15 minutes, you know, 10 to 15 minutes for it to really come into effect. So we're going to take a hiatus. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to take a beat. Here, let's let's look at it. They, they sent this. Are we gonna are we gonna take guide. a? We gotta take a clip of us biting down on these bad boys. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna we're totally gonna do that. Let's see. Da 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 da. da. And see Jake about how long this takes. I remember it taking about ten to fifteen minutes. So, you know, we'll wait five to seven. Should we cheers? Dink it. Dink. <laughs> Oh, they're so hard. Yeah, they're probably hard to chew. All right, should you think we should, you know, try it out on the, the Skeeter, Skeeter Pee? Skeeter Pee. Let's see. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna skip ahead to the Skeeter Pee real quick because it's so tart. This should give us a good bellwether of whether or not it's working. I would say that it is. I would say that it's working. <laughs> it's not nearly as tart as it was before. Holy cow. Isn't that weird? That's a way, way smoother. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Super chill. Yeah, that was great. All right, so this is a traditional mead under the effect of Miracle Berry. <laughs> I don't know how much it did there. There's like an extra weird flavor in there. Yeah. I think it tastes sweeter, but yes. there's something else happening in there that maybe the florals are getting amplified. Mm, yeah. I think it's... It definitely tastes more... Bitter? Uh, actual herbal? Flower petally. Flower petally. Okay. That's interesting. Yeah. Next one is your fruited tropical mead. <sighs> Dragon With... fruit, passion fruit, tropical honey. Just, it tastes very sweet. Yeah, these tastes, are like all of these. It's just cloying, like it's turned, is, dialed up, like just a spoonful <laughs> of sugar. What would this taste like with like a 
uh, Shrams meat. Man, this thing would be. <laughs> I know, and that's why I went to Freeman's. I was like, I gotta get something really fun. And they just, all they had was superstition, basically, unfortunately. They didn't even have the little Chaucer's cans. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Dang it. We could have, like, maybe that's the thing. Maybe that's the, 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 the way to the drink second Chaucer's. Chance of, of Chaucer's. <laughs> okay, so this is our spiced. Ooh, okay. I'm Christmas slash holiday mead. I love the smell of this. I want this as a candle. How can I, how can I candlelight this? This did turn out really, really phenomenal. And I, I gotta give props. Uh, part of this was uh, cinnamon extract from Olive Nation. Mm. And, and they make really great cinnamon, cinnamon extract. It does say sweeter, but it doesn't taste like vastly different. I think the spice profile is a lot milder. Yep. It's Cause not, like the, the sweet level is, yeah, yeah. it's like amplified. It. Still very good. Okay, Skeeter P. We've tried this one. Yes. This was our, our test on whether or not this will, will work. What's crazy about this is this is <laughs> basically not back sweetened. Right, but it tastes sweet. It tastes crazy sweet. It does. That's so weird. Yeah, because tasting this, you're like, this is your dry version yeah. of Skeeter Yeah, it tastes like you back-sweetened it. Hmm, <laughs> that's nutty. And the, the um, bite from the acid's gone. It's totally gone. Like, you almost don't taste lemon in it. Yeah. It's weird. Okay. This is... Oh, this is Superstition. Prickly pear What's the funk. <sighs> yeah, that funky smell is not going anywhere. It's hanging around. The funk is still there. The sweetness is amplified. The miracle berry, I think, makes this taste better. I agree. <laughs> I do agree, actually. That's what's <laughs> a little bit sad. Yeah, it, it dampens the funk. It amplifies the sweetness. There's some extra fruitiness that's coming out in there. Interesting. Okay. And all last right. but not least. Last but not least. Classiest of all. Baha. Baha <laughs> Blast. Baha Blast. Baha. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta <laughs> you put the emphasis on that first syllable there. Baja Blast Hard Seltzer on Miracle Berry. It's weird how much that smells like Mountain Dew. It's so sweet. Everything is just so sweet. <sighs> yeah, it's hard to drink sweet. Like that tastes like you put like a quarter cup of sugar in there. Woo! Do we need to try some lemon juice? Yeah, let's get let's 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 get some weird going on. Oh, this is, buddy. Oh, is it frozen? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's in the back of that freeze fridge, so. Yeah, we can get a little bit out. Just like I like my lemon juice, mm -hmm. nice and frozen. This looks familiar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, YouTube. All right, lemon juice. Cheers. Dink. Surprisingly palatable. That's nuts. super sweet. That's super sweet. Ah. But the acid is like not. Yeah, it's like nothing. Like it's still, it's like acidic, but you're. Wow. Yeah, it's weird. Okay. All right. Dijon. It's gluten free. We had Baja. Dijon now we have mustard. Dijon. Okay. How do you want to? You want to <laughs> just like put some on your finger? I don't know, man. Here, let me. At least this isn't frozen. Put a little, put a little on top of this bad boy right here. Okay. <laughs> don't just. Oh, you just like. Okay. I, I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. All, All right. right. Isn't that lovely? This it's is. like honey mustard. It is. <laughs> I mean, I can see the allure of it. Now it, it does feel if it's really only 12, 15 minutes, you're like, chomping down. Or yeah, drinking you, you real gotta, fast. You gotta go. You get the full effects, but. Well, what do you think, man? Is this the new way? Should this be cattle battle next year? You, me, and Mandy crunch up some Miracle Berries and. It has to taste better with it Miracle Berry. It has to taste the best on Miracle Berry. You know, it'd be an interesting flair. I am, I am very impressed by how it's changed things, especially because, you know, we tasted the Skeeter Pea. Mm -hmm. Pre and all these pre, yeah. But especially the most acidic things are extremely tame, much more tame. Yeah, the Skeeter pea is actually really lovely. Yeah, it's like what I want the Skeeter pea to taste like. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, not on Miracle Berries. Yeah. yeah, 
Well, a fun experiment. I don't think it teaches us really much of anything at all, but it's an yeah. interesting way to expand your palate, so to speak. Yeah. I guess, like, so is the theory here you could crush some up and put it in your mead and then... See, people say that, but I don't know. I think you really need, like, some good surface contact with your yeah. tongue in order You'd to You'd have to crush it. up a lot of them to... Uh... Yeah, I feel <laughs> At some like... point, it's, like, dangerous, right? <laughs> I have no idea. Life. But I, I think you really need good contact with the surface area of your tongue in order mm. to, to, to make sure that all of your taste buds are yeah. changing shape or whatever. And so I don't know that it would work in a fermented brew, but like this was, I mean, this was $16. For, right? for eight or 12 or whatever? Yeah, I mean, we had we what, four, four of them, ten. so yeah. A dollar sixty a piece? For a temporary effect. Can you imagine if it was permanent? <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think it's an interesting way of exploring flavor profiles because essentially what you're doing is removing sour from the mix. Yeah. But you're also, anything that was sour is becoming sweet. Right. And so that's kind of weird So too. if you're like trying, if you had it and you're trying to fix a brew, like it's not a great way to like fix it. I it's wouldn't just... think so. That lemon juice thing was crazy that's too. It's kind of fun, I'm doing it again. <laughs> Make sure you follow this guy, Man Made Mead on YouTube. Thank you for being a part of this experiment. If you want to try some of these, I'll put a link in the description to where you can It's an affiliate up. link too, so no it's worry. It's going to be link. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm making a paycheck off of this. No, it's help support the channel. That's what I like. Help support the channel. Uh, if you want to pick up some of these, it's kind of a fun thing. You know, you might not want to do it with fermented beverages, but it might be a fun thing to do with your kids. I mean, food was interesting. It was different. So, yeah. yeah. So. Safe fun. Who could want anything less than that? Good. Good old safe fun. Good times. <laughs> All right. Until next time, happy brewing. Cheers. Cheers. Comment brews and various artists, everything from me to rose. Big creation, fermentation, inebriation, doing the most.